Okay, so here we go. This is a short demo of a Triumph Amplification PA, 100 watt PA, from the 1970s, early 70s components inside it. A couple of them are dated 1971. So look, this has still got its original cover, PVC cover, a few marks and things in it, but not bad from 1971. So I'm using an external source of sound, which is the radio, into channel one. It has six channels on this. Um, the sixth channel, the markings come off it, but it actually says music. So it's for, uh, actually it'd be better to put the radio into that, I suppose. Anyway, here we go, switch it on. You see the little lights come on. You see the period sticker inside, it says, I've been slain. <laughs> Collectible sticker. I always thought these were a great amp, and I have particular affinity for these. There was a band in Ashton Underline called Great Uncle Fred's Clockwork Chiming Device that I was mates with, I was big fans of. Um, and they used Triumph um, guitar amps, and I think a PA amp. The Triumph guitar amps were 2 by 12 vertical combos. So they stood upright uh, like that. <laughs> so imagine a Vox AC30 stood on its side, but with this little amplifier head on top. And with the lights, good idea, you can see what you're doing on stage. So you can adjust it all. So there we go, there's the sound. Uh, it's in pretty good condition, a few knocks and marks around the edges on the rec scene, Tolex covering, whatever you want to call it. And round the back. Bulging plug for the uh, mains input. It's four sockets output, one on slightly newer one fitted. Um, and there we go, it has preamp out and main amp back in so it's fairly advanced for its time I suppose um, the reverb controls an odd one it affects the volume and affects the tone but not much in the way of reverb and in fact there is no reverb fan fitted inside it there doesn't seem to be a facility for that there's a little board in it which has a couple of op amps on and I think that's for mixing external reverb so there you go. The Triumph 100 watt PA amp in the early 1970s. And on that note, we will leave you with Mr. Ferry singing out.